to have been part of this project that brings this in such a, a an open and, and accessible manner, I think, where you're just saying, this is the story, this is, you know, here, here real live people have to go through this, and you're not alone. There's so many people walking around that have some degree of mental illness or, you know, struggle. And so it's, it's, a, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a really interesting time. I actually met with some people um, and some friends that said they'd like to share their stories about their own daughter or son, and that's how I started to begin my research in this, was talking to other people, <clears throat> and I didn't have to pursue them. They wanted to talk about it, and I think they were grateful that there was going to be a movie that gave them a voice. Um, and one of the most common things they all said was the stigma that's around mental illness, you know. And so they were hoping that this movie will help, um, you know, you know, stop that stigma and help people talk about it and um, realize that um, communication and awareness and understanding and compassion is needed. The stigma around it is just completely awful, and even even people like 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 everyone, uh, although they don't say that they are involved with that, um, like going to therapy, at least like my experiences, like a lot of people are like, well, I, like don't want to say it. Just reading the script, I can kind of tell at first how it was going to be and how the family would you know really deal and how a family would really feel when this happened to them and how it could easily be torn apart. There's, you know, different characters that you play. Sometimes you play a happy character and then you play a sad character. But I think it's, you know, important to play the role because you show, like, other kids um, in the world that they need a help. I have uh, a child of my own who has had some issues and, and thank heaven is after a lot of work and a lot of time, is doing very well. I know when I talk to many families that are going through this, it's first of all, it's a huge strain on a marriage, no matter how much love that's there. Because when you have it on a day-to-day -day basis and you don't understand it, you know, um, there's not a particular diagnosis, like I said, or course of treatment that a doctor can easily define to have it um, you know, cured or in remission, so to speak. So there's that day-to-day -day struggle and blame is involved. Do you understand how mad they can get and they can't control it? Yeah. We also uh, prepared by um, looking at some YouTube videos yeah. of children. Um, we are pretty much in a very uh, calm state at home, <laughs> so it was uh, pretty difficult to get to that state. Mm -hmm. Um, but when you did, you felt, how did you feel? Very sad or? Well, I felt bad for the people, you know, who have bipolar. Because, you know, they can't, sometimes they don't feel right and they get really frustrated. I think that it, it's hopefully going to impact the process of, of further awareness and illumination as to, like, you know, how this particular uh, issue has probably you know, not been, been, been given as much due and or attention as needed. I, I, think, I think I would hope that the benefit of, of this film would be primarily to teach people the benefit of or the importance, I would teach people the importance of early detection and early intervention. Early intervention is absolutely key. It'll help people better understand what families go through and you know how they have to cope and, and how hard it really is to live with this type of thing. And you know, it just really changed my perspective. You know, I'm, I feel like I'll be much more understanding when things like that happen. I remember, like, my grandparents would say, you know, if I had a relative or something, well, she had a nervous breakdown. 
she just suffers from jitters or whatever. And, you know, and that person suffered, I'm sure, from some type of mental disorder. And that's how it was just pushed to the side, you know. And I think that's what I learned from this movie was um, that it's time to stop uh, pushing this to the side and ignoring it because of the stigma around it and to just get to the facts that this is an illness like any other illness and we treat it like that and there's no shame and there's no embarrassment you know it was it was emotional to read the script and it was emotional to see the short and I'm very glad to have been part of it I really hope that this film makes people see that they can get help and that they aren't alone um, parents, family members, people that have these things going on with them. Um, I, I hope that it, it shows them that they can that they can get help and they can they can do it, and and that there is hope, and it, it, like there there are success stories.